Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. And I just noticed my hair is kind of weird, but it doesn't matter. You're not here to see me anyway. We're here to watch BTS. Today, we're continuing with Bora City Magazine. And so I went back to older videos trying to figure out which one I have watched, which one I have not. And I noticed I have not watched this one yet. So this is what BTS is not K-pop or K-pop is not does not equal BTS. So without further ado, let's go. In 2017, BTS started being invited to major American award shows. They were getting nominations for the first time. First K-pop group to be up for a BBMA nomination. They were winning every nomination they received. But we still cannot believe that we're standing here on this stage at the Billboard Music Awards. And even their American TV debut was on a major American award show. Making their US TV debut, make some noise for BTS! This came as a surprise to the K-pop music industry and K-pop fans, since things like this haven't really happened since the global success of Gangnam Style in 2012. So you would assume that the K-pop industry and K-pop fans were happy to see a K-pop act getting some recognition yeah. once again. But what actually happened was the complete opposite. While Psy had immense popularity in the West in 2012, his musical career was not really seeing much growth in the Western music industry. In America, Gangnam Style was what many call a one-hit wonder. This was not the case with BTS. They were actually getting bigger and bigger yes. with every release. This is why it's really hard to find BTS's Gangnam Style. They don't really have one song that put them on the map because with every new release they were getting bigger and bigger. But for many K-pop fans that was exactly the problem. BTS were becoming mainstream, K-pop wasn't. So the BTS army started being mainly composed of general public and non-K-pop fans. And a year later in 2018, K-pop fans were done with this. The Korea Herald reported, Some K-pop listeners and fans expressed discomfort for the fast-growing BTS fan community. They have claimed that some of the band's army only listen to BTS and show little interest for K-pop in general, leading to a flurry of posts with hashtag armies ruin K-pop body. Among many Okay. So... What is wrong with this? Can we not like one band? Do we are we required to like all band within the genre? Why is this a problem? Would that be better for me to like at least one of them instead of none of them? I don't get it leading to a flurry of posts with hashtag armies ruin kpop body. Among many tweets that expressed discomfort for BTS's growing fandom, this one became very popular. It said, the organization of the United K-popers declares the army expelled as of today. Thanks to army for understanding the situation and accepting its level degradation in a good way. Even though they are now at a lower level, the K-pop community wishes them luck and hopefully what? they will regain their humility and conscience. So after being expelled by the K-pop community, armies start to celebrating the Army Independence Day as a funny way to respond to all <laughs> community armies started celebrating the Army Independence Day. <laughs> Person I cannot do yes <laughs> this is funny. Okay. Okay. As a funny way Oh my god oh I love to have that passport. You know Armies are so creative and so artistic. This, this, this is amazing. <laughs> Way to respond to all the jealousy from K-pop fans oh, wow. and their attempt to stop BTS from becoming mainstream in the West. Now, many K-pop fans are trying to backtrack and say that this was a random account and not a real organization, and that whether we like it or not, ARMYs are also K-pop fans, since BTS is a K-pop group. And first of all, of course this is not a real organization, it's Twitter, nothing is real, especially when it comes to K-pop stands. But these and many other tweets show K-pop fans' goal to exclude BTS. The expulsion may not be real, but the attempt of humiliation and exclusion was. The problem that many K-pop fans didn't realize was that BTS can perfectly sustain itself as a musical yes. act in the music industry and this is something that only they can do. I BTS does not have to be labeled as K-pop. They are their own genre. Okay. 
can't think of any other K-pop act that can sustain itself as a group without the power of the K-pop industry. This makes much more sense knowing that BTS grew without the help of the K-pop industry. They grew bigger and bigger by experimenting with their own promotion methods, despite the K-pop industry's efforts to cut them from broadcasts, fabricating controversies, sabotaging every award they won, and downplaying their achievements, even until this day. <laughs> 우리가 흔히 알고 있는 소위 대형 기획사의 아이돌이 그것보다 사실은 못 미치는 어떤 활약을 보였을 때 미디어에 보도되는 양이나 그 커버되는 범위를 보시면 아. Yeah, I've seen this clip before somewhere I cannot remember, but I think I mentioned I commented that yeah, so it's like if other K-pop artists did something it would be front page news. When BTS does something even bigger than that is like second or third in the little corner, I guess, or not even mentioned. You know, I, I still don't understand how. I, yeah, I can't understand, you know, this media play, right? But in general, why aren't you not proud of your own artist, even if you're not from the same agency? I don't get it. Uh. <laughs> and it's true that yes. K-pop as a whole has grown a lot since 2017, but that was the consequence of BTS's popularity. The K-pop wave doesn't really exist. Just look at any articles that explain the global phenomenon that is K-pop and laugh a little. They usually show achievements like this. This one shows the Korean acts to earn at least 2 billion streams in Spotify. And the way it's put makes you believe that these are the biggest acts in K-pop. When in reality, when you combine the four biggest acts, it's still not... Oh. Wow. Number talks, okay? No matter what you say, numbers talk. Not enough to surpass BTS. But what if you combine the eight biggest acts? It's still not enough to surpass BTS. But what if you combine the 10 biggest acts? Then BTS increases even more because their solo careers are also bigger than K-pop. Actually, in general terms, if you combine the whole K-pop industry's achievements, BTS is still bigger. They are still bigger when it comes to streams, sales, charts, and tours. Another thing that the media says a lot is that yes, BTS is the biggest act, but this other group is number two and they are also doing pretty well. But in reality, they are extremely far from... Look at this, and I, 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 not to throw shade on the other acts, it's just like, they are good in their own ways, but it's not fair for, it's not fair to compare them to BTS, because BTS is on a different level, so we have K-pop, we have BTS, not even this, okay, we have K-pop, we have BTS, okay. Number one, K-pop success in the West is not K-pop success, it's BTS's success. Mm -hmm. It's like this meme that says Kobe Bryant and Kwame Brown combined for 63 points. Kobe scored 62, Kwame scored 1. And I think this makes things clearer. These players started scoring so many points that fans of the team got annoyed and jealous that everyone was paying attention to the player and not to the team. So they kicked the player out of the team without realizing that that affects the team more than it affects yes. the player. This is why they backtracked and started promoting the player's achievements as the team's achievements, when the other player's contributions are almost non-existent. Now, the main question is why? Why is the Western general public paying attention to only BTS and not K-pop as a whole? This K-pop journalist has the same question as to why no one pays attention to her K-pop articles. She tweeted, My issue with K-pop today is that less and less people care about it as a whole, and instead only care about one or two groups, which makes writing about the industry increasingly difficult. Everyone lives in their own bubble and doesn't even want to know more. There seems to be a huge misunderstanding too. So many people think that being a fan means you need to consume all the content and know all the members biography and have every single album when you don't you can just listen to a song and enjoy it you don't even need to call yourself a fan but just trying to listen to new stuff sometimes having curiosity about it is cool it's refreshing you might find your new favorite band who knows and i think most people will totally agree with this except that k-pop doesn't really work like that because k-pop is not a genre it's an industry yes. and it's an industry that has so many common factors that attract many people that will eventually become k-pop fans but none of these factors Include music 
When a hip-hop journalist, for example, writes about hip-hop artists, the articles are usually targeted at hip-hop fans, and these hip-hop fans care about hip-hop as a whole because it's one particular genre they enjoy. They may also have their own favorite hip-hop artists, but since they like the genre, they also listen to other artists that have a similar sound. And this can happen with other genres of music as well, but K-pop fails to transform the general public into K-pop fans because K-pop's priority is not music. See, it's not that I don't try. So I do listen to other K-pop when they pop up in my Spotify playlist. And sometimes I will hear a song play and I'll say, oh, you know, this one sounds pretty nice. And I'll look at my phone to see what song is it, which artist is it. And depending on the song, I might search for the artist to listen to other songs, but I always come back to bts because you know when it comes oh, i do like i think most of the song i i like when they pop up on my spotify are the osts not partic not any song from a particular k-pop group and that's i think that's the reason i keep going back to bts because you know ost is one thing but when we're talking about group i I don't know. I I try to ex you know broaden my horizon. There's a few songs here and there that I like from other group, but they have not attracted me enough for me to want to get get to know them more. So. In K-pop, singers, rappers, or performers are not called artists or recording artists. They are called idols, and they were literally seen as that. Before BTS, writing and producing your own songs was not a thing in K-pop. It was all about visuals, how the idol looks, how the music video looks, what kind of reputation the idol has, the further from a regular person with regular lives who actually put on hours of work on their music, the better. This is why K-pop acts are not known for having a musical personality. They are either stuck at one song or jumping from one concept to another, with no real message in any of their eras. Musical Correct. and artistic growth are very hard to find in K-pop. And this is not about being a versatile artist or not. There are artists who release many genres of music, BTS being the most popular example these days. But to successfully show this versatility, the artist still needs some factors that make them them. And this can be as simple as the artist's musical taste. However, that's another thing they lack because their songs are not only written and produced by other people but also they don't even choose the songs that will be part of their discography the labels are the ones who give the performers an artistic identity that they have to adapt to if i show you the most popular k-pop songs from this year or from any other year you wouldn't really be able to tell which group they are from because k-pop groups don't really have any artistic identity on the other hand bts's label told them you find your own identity this is why bts is discovered always reflected their lives and their thoughts and even when the BTS members don't write or produce a song they are the ones deciding what they like and what fits them not the other way around I think one reason as to why BTS attracts the general public while K-pop doesn't is the fact that to become a BTS fan, you only need to listen to the music. Other factors like performance, visuals, and message only solidifies BTS's artistry. But still, if one day BTS suddenly becomes ugly or decides to not dance anymore, their music is still strong enough to be performed and listened to for many years to come. So to be a BTS fan, you just need to like the music. But to be a K-pop fan, you need to be a fan of an industry. And what does this industry include? It includes pretty people, a choreographed dance, a concept that they will throw away after a month or two, three mini albums a year, flashy music videos, and trendy outfits. And all of these things are really cool things to pay attention to. I love paying attention to visuals and outfits, but if I don't like the music, watching their performance once is all I'm going to do. And actually, I would say K-pop fans agree with me, because K-pop music videos and live performances with pre-recorded vocals can end up having millions and billions of views. But once you focus on the music. Not even K-pop fans want to listen to it. This doesn't happen with BTS. If they have a billion views in a music video, the number of streams of this same song matches the number of music video views. People don't only want to see them dance or perform. They actually want to listen to their music. Yes. Dun, 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 dun.
These same K-pop journalists said, I feel like the concept of enjoying music for the music is getting lost. And now, people either are huge fans of one thing or they don't care at all. They won't even bother to try listening. So how can we write if people aren't open to read about things they don't know? About this, two things come to mind. First, let's say that this person is right and certain fandoms like ARMY are huge fans of one thing, in this case BTS, and we don't really care at all about anyone else. If this was the case, then what is really the problem with that? And why are K-pop journalists complaining about this? Why do music journalists don't care when this happens in other genres? I don't know how I came up with this, but do you remember when Justin Bieber became popular and everyone was asking his fans to please check out every other Canadian pop artist? Well, of course you don't remember because it didn't happen. Justin Bieber's success was Justin Bieber's success, and no one expects Justin Bieber fans to also be interested in Drake or The Weeknd because they have nothing in common, except from their nationality. So what about artists who do release similar music? Still, you will never see a journalist that covers American pop asking Ariana Grande fans why they only pay attention to Ariana and not other pop singers. Being a fan of an artist is not a group project. Just because I like one artist doesn't mean that I have to like other exactly. artists that are associated with them. Yeah, why, why, why am I required to like everybody else? You know, there's a reason I like this one band. It can be any reason can be because I like the way they look, I like the way they sound, I like how funny they are, whatever it is. There's one or a few things that attracts me to them. And if I like them, I like them. There's no requirement for me to say, if you like BTS, you have to like Blackpink because they're both K-pop. And if you like BTS, you have to like who are out there, Monster X or GOT7 because they're all good looking boys. There's no requirement. You, we should not be forced to like something because they're the same genre or same industry or from the same country, you know, or from the same continent. Just because I like BTS doesn't mean that I require to like other Asian group. Well, I don't know. The second thing I wanted to say about this is that it's not even true. This is only a what if a scenario because most armies were previously fans of other genres of music mm -hmm. or music in general. Like I said, armies are mainly exactly. I am fifty plus. I'm turning fifty five next month. Just so everybody knows, I'm a much much older army. So I enjoy music throughout my life, and I've been. Switching from genre to genre. When I was younger, I like particular type, and like get older from particular type, and all that. So, whatever. Really composed of the general public, and as BTS grew, K-pop grew too. That is, were previously fans of other genres of music or music in general. Like I said, armies are mainly composed of the general public, and as BTS grew, K-pop grew too. This is because the assumption is that if BTS is part of this particular industry and they are amazing, then the whole industry or at least many other acts from this industry are as amazing, right? This is the moment when most armies start realizing that BTS is an anomaly in K-pop. Armies do give other groups a chance, but if they don't like the music, then they're we do, we do, we seriously do. And as I mentioned before, there are some songs from other group that I like, but not to the point that I will want to listen to them on repeat. It, I like them to the point that I will not skip when they pop up, but <laughs> it really isn't a reason to become a fan. It's more common for armies to like individual K-pop songs without becoming a fan of the group. Because like I said, K-pop usually goes through eras and concepts instead of growing as artists and solidifying a musical identity. This army responded to the K-pop journalist. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of Doja Cat. Found this really good band called Bad Omens. Fuji Cass's viral song is also really good. New jeans, The Weeknd, yet you're going to complain people don't care about music because you're not getting clicks on your K-pop articles. Armies tend to be music fans and they are going to support what they like. And that includes acts from any genre of their mm -hmm. preference, Western acts, K-pop acts, and also other Korean non-K-pop acts like BTS. <laughs> I'm 
Another thing I've seen a lot is K-pop fans accusing armies of hating Koreans because we are trying to exclude BTS from their Korean roots and identity. And that is an insane take because K-pop is not a culture. It's an industry that doesn't really represent Korean values or culture. This is why Korean citizens separate K-pop or what they call idol music with Korean music. They even separate Korean pop with K-pop. So while K-pop fans may group artists like BTS, IU, Lin Young Woon, Yuna, and Haze under the K-pop label simply because they are Korean, armies and other music fans who understand the difference don't really consider BTS as K-pop because they don't really follow many of the K-pop rules or fit into the K-pop structure. Some of these artists like BTS may participate in some K-pop shows, but they are way too involved in their music composition and have way too many artistic liberties to be considered considered part of K-pop. BTS's actual competition in South Korea are other Korean non-K-pop acts who are usually called digital monsters. So no, saying BTS is not K-pop is not being anti-Korean. <laughs> I think this response to the K-pop journalist summarizes it perfectly. My issue with K-pop fans are how they treat music fandom as a group project and fetishize Koreans instead of treating them as individual artists. K-pop has very little in common musically between groups. There's no reason there should be fan crossover. What does K-pop actually sound like that you're a fan of all the artists? And why aren't you exploring non-Korean artists that do or invent those genres if it's not about them being Korean and it's about the music? The reason things are different from what you, K-pop fans remember is that BTS are mainstream so they have music fans and not niche fans and music fans don't treat music artists like group projects because they are fans of individual music. Yeah. In conclusion, if you like music, listen to BTS. Chances are you're going to love them and I think I repeat this in all of my videos but don't assume. Don't assume BTS is just K-pop. Don't assume their biggest and only talent is dancing and don't assume they only release meaningless pop music. BTS's fandom is you know what happens when you assume, right? I'm sure many of you have heard this before. When you assume, you're making an ass out of you and me. So do not assume. Composed of listeners of different genres of music because they release different genres of music. There's BTS music for everyone. You just need to be a little open-minded yes. and explore the world of BTS's discography and artistry. <laughs> So that was BTS does not equal K-pop or K-pop does not equal BTS. And I totally agree because I know that many of us got into BTS. Well, at least for me, I did not get into BTS because I was following K-pop. It was all by accident, you know. But anyway, just because I like BTS does not necessarily mean that I would like music from the other k-pop group or not just k-pop group any other korean group or any other asian group and just because i like bts does not mean that i like pop because if they are considered as k-pop but then again we all know that k-pop does not mean pop song it means popular song korean popular songs so i don't think we are required to like everybody else within the same genre or the same category and well, I'm not saying that you know do not explore right we do we as BTS fans we do explore but as Boracity said that you have to have good music you'd have to have something that catch our attention and retain our interest because we might have one song that sounds interesting like Gangnam Style, right? But would that retain our interest? Would that keep us coming back? That's a different story. And like I mentioned, there are many songs from other group that I do enjoy listening to, but not to the point that I will search for it and listen to it, or I will listen to it on repeat. It would just mean that when they pop up on my Spotify, Pandora, whatever I listen to, whatever platform I use at that time, I would not skip because I tend to skip a lot of songs. And there are some groups 
some K-pop group songs that I tend to skip more because it's just not my style. You know, it's just I will listen to a first few seconds. It's like, eh, I don't like it. <laughs> skip. Okay. But I try to give them at least 10, 15 seconds chance if I like the first 15, 10 seconds. But then, you know, I'll say if I want to skip or not. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for now. Until next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.